Hey guys, and welcome back to the channel. The weather has not changed, it's still freezing, but I'm back in the garage. I'm gonna do some more work on the car today. Um, so I'm gonna be in the cold, but mostly I'm gonna be working on that rust repair again, you know, to continue with it and just do a little bit by bit. Um, so let's get to it. So the inner panel on the bottom corner was pretty thin and weak from all the rust. I'm marking it off to cut out the thin metal and weld a new replacement piece. I'm also marking off some of the rocker panel to tidy up the cuts. Now let's start cutting. Now time to grind off some of the paint so I have some bare metal to weld to later. So first up, I'm going to be butt welding the replacement bottom corner piece. Time to grind down those welds and any excess metal. The replacement inner wheel arch piece is all lined up, and now for some more welding. Now to grind down all the welds to the inner wheel arch panel. Using some compressed air to blow off the dust from the area. Now it's time to draft a template onto the replacement rocker panel. I'm going to start off by tracing the replacement panel onto the area of the car. Time to transfer the rocker cutout onto some paper before transferring it onto the replacement rocker panel. Here's the template transferred onto the replacement rocker panel. It's all ready to be cut out and seamed. Time to cut out that template. There it is, all cut out. Time to test fit the panel before seaming it. This is just to make sure everything lines up and see how much material I have to work with. I drew and cut the template out a little bigger to have more room to make adjustments. Now 
I'm using my seamer tool to create the seam for the panel to tuck in. After a lot of time spent making adjustments and trying to line things up, the panel is finally where I wanted it. But I also found a really weak area on the bottom of the rocker panel on the car, which chipped and ripped when a sharp edge on the new panel accidentally clipped it. I guess I needed to cut more of the rocker panel out, but I can just cut out the spot and weld some new metal in. Time to cut out that spot and fix the area that ripped. Here's the area I cut out, it's just a small square. Here's the piece of metal I'm going to weld in place. Time to start welding again. There we go, all welded up. It'll look better once I body fill it. Alright, so now it's time to weld in the new piece for the quarter panel. I took my welding blanket out to protect the bumper from splatter, and I also took off my tail light. Here's the quarter panel all welded up and ready for body filler. Here's the areas all painted with weld through primer for when I weld the new panel in. I masked all the areas that will be welded to save time from having to remove the paint later. Next it's time to apply the fluid film inside the areas I won't be able to reach once it's all welded up. Time to work on welding the backside of the inner wheel arch but I'm going to line everything up with the rocker panel to make sure that it fits before welding. Now it's time to weld the panel in place. Grinding down all those welds. Here's what the rear panel looks like after it's all welded and grinded. I'm using weld through primer to paint any of the exposed metal in the back of the rear panel. The new rocker panel is all lined up and ready for welding. Time to grind down those welds. Here's how the rocker panel looks after it's been welded and cleaned up. Time to prep the panel for body filler by orbital sanding the area with 80 grit. Now cleaning off the area by wiping the panel with isopropyl alcohol and spraying with some compressed air. Mixing up some Bondo glass body filler. Now applying the body filler, making sure to push it right in there to fill any holes. Don't forget the quarter panel. I actually did forget and I had to mix up some more body filler. Time to cheese grate the body filler using a Stanley Sure form before I let it fully cure. Thank mm -hmm. you. 
All right, here's the fun part, not. Sanding down the body filler with 40 grit and 60 grit to get off as much of the excess as possible before I apply the regular body filler. Now to mix up some regular body filler. And now to apply it. Cheese grate off the excess. And here we go again for sanding. And there we go, all done and looking smooth. The driver's side is now ready for primer. That was a lot of work, but the toughest part is over. Next, I'll be working on body filling all the dents on the car before I spray the primer. Anyways guys, I hope you enjoyed that video. If you're new here, please comment, like, and subscribe. As always guys, I'll see you in the next one. Cheers.